Tattoo Hour 2018 aims to bring together folks who care about rural to move forward new, innovative and creative ideas around rural resilience. A conference like Art to Art is important to rural Canada because it takes place in a rural community and it brings together people who care about the same thing but aren't often in the same room. R2R 2018 is also bringing together rural experts from different countries. So there's really a breadth and scope involved in this conference that is, uh, is exciting. We don't have enough conferences like R2R. Uh, rural communities just don't have the opportunity to host events like this. Very rarely is there a full-blown major international conference like this that focuses on rural communities. And so this whole concept of people talking about rural, but also the rural talks to rural, like people from different rural communities in different parts of North America or the world getting together to talk about what they share. I hope that people will carry home is this idea that as, as, as unique as their community might be, it's actually very similar to what people are doing in other places. And to engage people and ask for feedback to be inclusive of other people so you hear all those voices. That's something I've tried to do is not just look at the person who's outgoing and always speaks up on things but to find the quiet person that always helps out or, or the older person that's been there all their lives and knows all the stories and how things have changed and how this current story fits into the, the longer story of a community. And looking at a newcomer and seeing what stands out to them, like what's that first impression you got, what's that big thing that said, oh this looks like home. I am most excited for the food. If I'm being very honest, that is what I'm most excited for. Uh, I, love, uh, I love talking all things rural and I'm passionate about a lot of the issues around housing, employment, poverty. Uh, I'm feeling excited and feeling energized for the kinds of conversations that we'll have. But I think energy and excitement only comes when we feel good about what we've eaten. So I'm, very, I'm really looking forward to a tremendous amount of diversity from folks uh, who are just across the street and just down the way. It'll be terrific. The big thing is just knowing that there's other people dealing with the same problems that you're dealing with. And honestly, that you're not alone in this, that these issues are not only in rural Ontario, but rural Canada, rural North America, and, and, and beyond. So I was part of the panel with three other um, individuals and a lot of us are entrepreneurial or come from an entrepreneurial background here in Huron County. The panel was amazing. Um, it was very helpful to hear other, uh, the other panelists and hearing their experience and realizing that it's very similar to my own. We all found that the educa education system was amazing, but we found that there was a jump between the education system and the industry, and it was really amazing just to chat with the other panelists and Hans von der Lue and just discuss the differences and where it could improve. I mean, I attended two years ago. What I found most intriguing was this, were the sessions that they held on media, rural media, rural voices. I'm a career journalist, worked as a reporter and teach journalism, so you know, I'm always very interested in how communities like this one are telling their own stories, but especially how are people consuming media, how are people seeing their own community in the media that they consume on a daily basis. And it's troubling in rural communities that People really tend to be fed a diet of media that often comes from big urban centers and they're not seeing their own stories being told. Uh, so that was, that was a, a major theme in, in the event two years ago. So that's something that I sort of latched onto. Another really important thing about R2R 2018 is that it's a space for creativity. We know that every rural community is different and we know that rural communities are as diverse as the landscapes that we call home. So having everyone come together in Blythe and have the opportunity to have honest conversations about the challenges and the benefits, about what's coming next for the places that they live is something that this conference brings that is unique. I love the way they designed the session. It's not a formal set of presentations with PowerPoint slides and and things like that. It's more of a uh, booth with people getting together in small clusters and, and having a conversation. The big eye-opening one to me was um, it was the photography collage of what's it like to live on less than an average income and the challenges that people face that just simply don't have enough money to go around. So that collage of pictures uh, was 
yeah, let's fix with you. I hope people will take away the opportunity to think creatively about issues in rural Canada. That would be the one main hope that I have. I hope that people who attend the conference go back to their home community and feel like they have engaged or met people who have helped them or challenged them to think differently about solving a problem or about celebrating a success. I think that we sometimes as adults forget how to play and forget how to think outside the box. And if this conference can have any role in helping rural folks do that, I think it'll been a great success. I would say R2R is an amazing conference to go to. You're going to touch on a lot of different topics. It's, it's kind of hard to choose which panels or who you want to go to to listen to or chat with. But just the community aspect of it and um, the socializing, chatting with different people, meeting people from different, whether research or working within government or just local farmers, whether, whatever it is situation is, you, you meet these people and you gain their perspective on things or what they're working on. And again, it's just increasing the awareness and increasing what you as an individual can do to help with the issues around the area. So I found that just to be aware of what's going on, I think it's really important to understand the issues, but also just to know what you can do as an individual in this area. And I think R2R really helps with that. And also kind of gives you a bit of pride to, uh, to live in a rural setting and to be a part of something that's maybe a little different and kind of not the normal path that people would, would choose. I, mean, I think there's really important stories to be told. So when you come to an event like this, you have in one place a few dozen people who are experts in their field, who have some connection to rural communities and can kind of distill what for a lot of people is common sense, but then they hear it in a context like this and suddenly it's like, oh, somebody else is talking about me. Somebody from somewhere else is talking about me and my community and this is something worth talking about, right? This, is, this warrants our attention. I was at the Living Wage uh, presentation prior to the, uh, to the open session of the conference. It's a real challenge. It really is a, a tough challenge. Um, you know, we have great um, participation in food banks in this area, but it's really just a Band-Aid for a bigger issue, which is just uh, low income. Yeah. I think about that a lot. Um, how do we raise up, you know, those people that have less income and uh, make their lives as good as the people that, you know, make a little more money? Our tour was amazing, but I think afterwards, it's kind of following through with the conversations and keeping them going. I find that it, our uh, conference is great and it raises a lot of passion, and excitement, and awareness, which is great. But it's kind of the follow through and keeping those conversations going and also letting people um, know in the area. So whether it's friends, family, people there, locals, whoever it is, just to know and be aware of the things that I learned from R2R and kind of just pass it on to them. And um, yeah, I think really important just to keep the conversations, conversations going, which hopefully spark action eventually. Your community is important and the stories shared in your community have value. And there are people who are interested in hearing from you and learning with you. And I would encourage you to seek out not only like-minded individuals, but individuals who have different ways of thinking about the rural communities that they're from. I think when we have moments of collaboration and when we come together on a platform of creativity, there's no limit to what we can accomplish.